Hey, how's it going? Go. What's going on? What do we got here? Man, I got something. I don't know if you really come across these too often or not. Kind of pull it out here and let you take a look at it. But let me get you something to put it on. Well, I brought you a shrunken head, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, why does it look like my buddy Chum? I'm at the pawn shop today to hopefully sell my shrunken head. I acquired this from a friend of mine who owns a oddities vintage shop in my town. I always thought it was something really cool, unusual, so I brought it home, put it on my shelf, and uh, everybody that walked in my house had something to say about it. About four inches tall, it's got real hair on it, and uh, I think it's the real thing. I'm hoping to get $5,000. If I sell the head today, uh, hopefully I can buy me a couple round trip tickets to Australia. I've never seen anything like this before. The story is, you know, there was these tribes in the Amazon rainforest, and what they would do with these things is they figured out a way to shrink people's heads. And the whole purpose behind it, I guess, was to show what a tough guy you were. Who wants to mess with a guy with a bunch of <laughs> heads on his neck? That being said, I really don't know much about it. And it's kind of one of those things where, you know, the myth has just become way bigger than the actual thing. Do you mind if I take a look at it? Oh, that'd be great. All right. Um, I mean, it looks real, but it's really hard to come across an actual shrunken head. I know somehow, some way, some Europeans came over in the Amazon and saw these things and were like, that's cool, let me buy that. And there's been like a whole like black market of like making fake ones ever since. So what are you looking to get out of it? I'd like to get somewhere around $5,000 for it. Okay, um, I'll tell you what, do you mind if I do a video chat real quick with a buddy of mine and have him take a look at this? That would be great. Give me a few minutes, hang out, I'll be right back, okay? Cool, thanks. I'm confident that it's a real shrunken head, but we'll leave it up to the experts and see what they have to say about it. Hey, Bob, how's it going? Good, how are you? I have what looks like a shrunken head here. So give me an idea, what could you tell me about these things? Shrunken heads have been around for a long time. So most of them come from Ecuador. So you didn't want to be a traveler or an explorer in this part of Ecuador at the end of the 19th century and end up getting your head shrunk. And so how would they shrink a head? What, what, how, how were they able to do it even? It's disgusting. So these are warriors. They've taken a head in battle and they cut up the back of the skull remove the face off of the skull. The flesh then is turned inside out and then it's heated with hot sand and rocks, which the heat will cause that skin to shrink. And the more you do this, the smaller and smaller the, the head will become. If you're a really good head shrinker, you can get a head that's about the size of an orange. So could you give me an idea on how to tell if this is real or not? Okay, so about 1930, uh, Ecuador outlawed them, but at that time, the tribes that were making them discovered that if they sold them to tourists, they could make a lot of money. They started doing fakes. So let me take a look. Look inside the nostril. No nostril. So the next thing we do, we look at the ears. I got no ear holes. Bad sign. I think we got a fake here. Okay, um, well, give me an idea what something like this is worth. If this guy were real, I would pay 10 grand for it. As a tourist piece, I'd say it's worth 200 bucks. Okay, um, I appreciate it, and take care, Bob, bye. Take care. I'm sure you heard me, but um, clearly it's not real. Man, I was hoping we had one. I know you were kind of shooting for the stars when you asked for 5,000 uh, bucks. He said it's worth 200 bucks. I'll give you 200 bucks. It just really reminds me of a buddy of mine and I kind of want it for myself. Oh man, you know, I think for 200 bucks, it's worth bringing back and putting on the shelf. Would you do 300? No, man, I think I'm just gonna hold on to it.
You know, if you change your mind, I'll be here, but I really appreciate you bringing it in. It was, it was fun. Great. Thanks, man. Take care. I'm not going to lose my head over not selling my shrunken head today, so I'm going to bring it back home, put it back up on the shelf, and uh, enjoy it for a few more years. Recently, a customer came into the shop with what he thought may be a real shrunken head. It turns out it was fake, but it actually looked a lot like Chum. Unfortunately, me and the guy couldn't come to a deal, but I did a little research and I found something better. So now I have a little surprise for my dad and Chum. So you're taking us to the Golden Tiki, huh? I got you guys a gift. What's, what's up, Brandon? How hey, you doing? Hey, Corey, how's it going? You ready? Hey. Tell them what I got them. Let's yeah. do this. <laughs> OK, on the count of three. You ready? One, two, three. Oh, my god. You got me a shrunken head. Pretty awesome. And with all due respects, we could not leave out the old man. Nothing says I love you like a shrunken head as a gift. I'm going to have to say, you guys did get Rick's head a little too small, though. <laughs> It's usually a little bigger than that, even when it's shrunken. <laughs> Thank you, son. It is definitely an original gift. I actually really like him. And I love the old man. He's actually smiling. He's always smiling. I'd have to say I got the best head of hair there, though. All right, we need to get back to work, guys. Come on. You guys are just upset because I have the best-looking shrunken head. 